If a picture is worth 1,000 words, video can be even more valuable. While in the past, citizens couldn't be sure a politician was telling the truth, well, I'm not a crook. They could trust the words captured on camera that were said to begin with. I did not have sexual relations with that woman. But seeing isn't always believing anymore. Glenn didn't just say that, I did. False and misleading videos are circulated online, spread by politicians, advocacy groups, and others, and they're often viewed millions of times. As the technology to manipulate video advances, there's even more urgency to understand what's real and what's fake. The fact checker set out to develop a universal language to hold creators and sharers of misleading video accountable. This guide is intended to start a conversation. To equip you with a new awareness and a set of skills to detect fake video. We've grouped manipulated videos into three broad categories. The first category is missing context. The video is unaltered, but is presented in a way that lacks or misstates the context in which events occurred. Misrepresentation is using incorrect framing of a video that misleads the viewer. For example, Trump campaign advisor Katrina Pearson shared this video to represent rockets being fired in Gaza, but it was really filmed in Belarus, 2,000 miles away. Isolation is sharing a brief clip from a larger video, creating a false narrative. Like when conservatives shared that snippet of Representative Ilhan Omar, making it sound like she downplayed the 9-11 attacks. Far too long we have lived with the discomfort of being a second-class citizen. And frankly, I'm tired of it, and every single Muslim in this country should be tired of it. CARE was founded after 9-11 because they recognized that some people did something and that all of us were starting to lose access to our civil liberties. If the quote or video isn't being reported by multiple verified news outlets, it might be missing some important context. The second category is the deceptive edit. That means a video has been edited or rearranged. Omission is editing out large portions of a video to skew reality. A liberal activist group shared this edited video of Senator Dianne Feinstein speaking to children about climate change that makes her look cruel and dismissive. We have our own Green New Deal. Some scientists have said that we have 12 years to turn this around. Well, it's not going to get turned around in 10 years. What we can do... Splicing is editing videos together to fundamentally change the story. Like when this conservative news outlet combined two different interviews of then-Democratic congressional candidate Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, changing the meaning behind her answers. Do you have any knowledge whatsoever about how our political system works? Mm. Yikes! If there seem to be gaps or unexplained transitions in a video, it may have been intentionally edited. The third category is malicious transformation. The video has been manipulated to transform the footage itself. Doctoring is altering the frames of a video, cropping or changing the speed using Photoshop, dubbing audio, or adding or deleting visual information in order to deceive the viewer. For example, this video of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi was slowed down to make her look drunk. She were sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before I said most currently. With all this, um, Short sort of visuals that obviously were planned long before I said most currently. Fabrication is using artificial intelligence to make high quality fake images. This includes deep fakes, like the video of Mark Zuckerberg created using artificial intelligence to make him say things that he never said. Whoever controls the data controls the future. Inconsistencies around someone's face, like weird coloring or blurring, as well as limited or no blinking, could mean it's a deepfake video. If someone's voice sounds a little low, or their hands are moving too quickly, or their face just looks off, the video might have been manipulated. By labeling these types of video, we hope to create awareness that not all video shared online can be taken as a fact. We expect this list will grow as new categories of false video emerge. Online users should show more skepticism before believing that a viral video really happened. And politicians and public figures have a responsibility to be more careful about what they share on their social media feeds.
As technology develops, these videos will only become more and more common and more convincing. To speak on behalf of the American people and to address their concerns, their hopes, and their dreams. So if you see something weird on your Twitter feed or Facebook or Instagram, don't hesitate to email us.